So as you're looking in, you see Carlo burst through the door and he sees you immediately. Oh, good. You can't see who he's talking to. But he turns back and he says, I knew that this was a trick all along. He closes the door, locks it, and then turns around. And it's your turn, Didikoff. Hmm. Oh. Uh, so I'm running uh, towards Bird. where I heard the yeah. sound. You and Rafael were running? Yeah, that's right. There. You're about halfway there. So, did it at this point, you're at the end of the alleyway that you thought you heard someone screaming? Yeah. But you don't see anyone immediately in there. All right, I turn and start running into it. There's, you know, boxes. Okay, Sturge. Okay. It's now so, your turn. Can I try and talk to him? Yeah, you can certainly try. Okay. How <laughs> can I make this? Can I just like type it? Okay. Or try to at least. Yeah. Yeah, type it to me privately. Okay. If you want to keep it secret. Is everyone making like dirty deals with Carl? Pretty much. Everyone is there, like are liking their own little adventure. <laughs> okay, so who is in the process of doing things? So to summarize, oh, I know it's going down. <laughs> so to summarize, Ditto heard a thing, he went run after it, and I'm running after like with him to check out what's going on because it's here's like someone <laughs> screaming. Yeah. You, uh, cats, you were speaking with Carlo, and uh, there was a disruption. He went to check it out. He stopped you from seeing anything, however, basically, and shoved you out. Uh, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Sturg broke a window. Uh, he went to look in, and Carlo saw him, and that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. And Sturg and Katz had both been having private conversations with Carlo. He's my buddy. He gets things done. <laughs> <laughs> They're having strictly on the up and up conversations because he's an oh, honest well, businessman. Of course. Mm -hmm. He helped me emigrate to the Mushroom Kingdom. Got me papers and everything. It was like magic. <laughs> got you your green card. <laughs> How I managed to be a cop, I have no idea. And the captain, no less. <laughs> I could see you being a. Uh, hard worker and genial enough that you end up rising through the ranks over a long period of time? Like, the thing is, like, his stats and all that is that he's strong, so any kind of job that would, like, require busy work, he'd be good at. It's just that, you know, now he's asked to lead a team and, like, do investigations yeah. and whatnot, which is completely different. Actually, the punchline is that, indeed, it was uh, basically a clerical error that he got promoted. <laughs> like really? Does that in the uh, the original letter that I well that I read and before I explain to you the mission, uh, it was very clearly like Sagran Aaron clearly wrote down that he was sure it was a clerical error, and he was sure it was oh. going to get uh, figured out eventually or something along those lines. Oh wow! But you didn't read that part to us, of course. <laughs> oh, R Riz Khalfi was joking. <laughs> or got, well, we would make great partners in crime. <laughs> I hope the chat logs are saved and they're gonna be put somewhere. Oh, they totally will. They're saved, and eventually they'll be put there once information becomes public. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. I'm gonna reveal that we <laughs> might, keyword might, it's all up to Horikawa. Be heading to the ASMT land. Nice, nice. Uh, sure. ASMT, you know, stands for something that makes sense. But... A super mountain thing. <laughs> Lots of countries have acronyms that they mostly get referred to by. That's true, USA, ASMT. USSR, that's right, yeah. Yeah, ASMT is an acronym in ASMT language. Okay. Okay. Should we do the next step of uh, Rezcow and Caesar yet? Yeah, let's do that. So you guys okay. run into the um, alleyway. Roll alertness perception. Good old friend. Search if you have it. Uh, five. Six. Okay. You guys look around and around and around. 
and you don't see anything. I could have this sworn round. I heard something. So next round, you look around some more, and then you okay. see it in the corner of the alleyway. You see a small toad person with a ukulele. <laughs> and, <he's> singing. <laughs> and this is right. very clearly what you heard. You're sure of it. Oh. How do you mistake a ukulele for a death rattling scream? A you crit, crit fail. fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I mean I say to Rezcal, I'm so sorry. I could have sworn it sounded like somebody just was dying over here in serious pain. Are you insulting this, his ukulele skills? Yeah, I'm saying this with no concern whatsoever for the feelings of the Actually, what I, I would respond is I look over to the toad guy and I'm like, hey, buddy, did, did you hear the scream or someone getting hurt or something around? It says, no, just me, big buddy. How's it going? Oh, oh it's going pretty good. Uh, sorry to bother you, guy. I just uh, keep on doing. By the way, this is also a small child. Just to I, make it even worse. I tip my hat to the kid. Says, I've always just, wanted to be a cop like you. Uh, just keep working on it, kid. If, if I You're can make a it captain, to captain, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I made it yesterday. <laughs> I, I can I tell by your head. uniform. I hang my head in shame, and I've just been like slumped and walking back the way I came. I'm just like crouched next to the little kids, put my arm around his shoulder. I'm like, and <laughs> you'll believe it, buddy. No, and just, crush him. Just work real hard, and uh, you'll make it here too. I, I swear of it. And you're gonna see, it's super great. You get to help people. You get to you know drive cars sometimes. Uh, it's you know, go for it. <laughs> wow! Thank you, Mr. Cop. You're my <laughs> hero. What's your um, name? Oh well, uh, you'll remember you'll remember this name, Captain Jumbo Rescal. <laughs> All right, Mr. Jumbo Rescal, can you sign my autograph book? He takes a little <laughs> autograph book. It has like a little symbol of the Mushroom Police Department in it on it. Well, I mean, I'm like just like super happy. Like if if he, if I can blush through my scales, uh, I I am. And I'm like, oh yeah, sure thing, little buddy. Just let me get my pen here, and, and there you go. Yeah, I just took mishearing it so poorly that I I just kind of walked off, and I'm already back to the entrance of the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> melts back into the darkness. <laughs> I know, Wait, I, what, I time is it? what time is the it? The little kid with the ukulele begins serenading you. Ukulele toad. <laughs> Somebody make a sprite for that. Yeah, so because Ditto, you asked what time it was right now in... Yeah. I'm curious, is it evening? Oh, like in-game? It... Yeah. It's like 7 o'clock at night. Okay. Yeah, after well, that little shoot. adventure, you know, I trail on behind uh, behind Sears. I'm like, hey, well, well, you know what? That's okay. You know, mistakes happen. I'm all, you no, know, just trying to, you know, uh, cheer me up. yeah. And uh, while we slowly make our way back to uh, Emporium. All right. I just kind of nod and shrug and stay quiet. Are you guys just like cool now? Well, yeah, my, my mood just 180 percent of. The, <laughs> Yeah, one hundred and eighty percent. And I'm too uh, self-centered to hold a grudge. Isn't that the opposite of what is true? If you're self-centered, no, I, I feel like it's not not that kind of self-centered. Just like short-term memory, short-sighted. Just kind of rolled off me because I don't really care what Rezcow did anyway. He was serenaded by a small toad <laughs> child. <laughs> he sang you a song about cops that was basically bad boys. <laughs> but on the ukulele that's adorable <laughs> that's absolutely adorable okay Horikawa are we almost 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 um, almost oh I was talking about you and me I mean you got uh, shut out when Carlo went into the back room yeah so did you oh, just stay there by the back and door? Carlos going to come yeah, back and there. tell you one last thing. 
Yeah. I'm a chill. Yeah. I'm a stay. It's a busy man. <laughs> Jakey boy breaking the window of a local business just to make sure, you know, risk has unit safe. gets even more in trouble. I'm sure we won't be comps for very many sessions. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'm back. So while me and Caesar were, you know, getting back to the Emporium, uh, Jakey Boy is himself is coming back from the side yeah. of the building. Don't mind me. Hey, Jakey Boy, where have you been? Oh, you know, checking down the alley for any dirty thieves. Actually, no, 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 I just had to pee. Um, <laughs> not really. See, what am I telling you guys? Like, there was nothing going on here. It's all just a big, stupid waste of time, but whatever. It's part of the job. It's what I wanted to show y'all. Yeah, you know what? I think, I think he's right. Okay, so at this point, Bolina walks out of the, out of the building. Uh, Hi. What was going on in there? Um, the hesitation isn't Bulina. That's my own hesitation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> See, I was By trying way, to get information. I'm adding, I'm adding the the ukulele kid to your contacts. <laughs> oh man. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna save the day. Okay, but, you can yeah. really get to the rescue. <laughs> what does Bulina say when I say, what was going on in there? Uh, nothing. I was trying to get some information about those poison mushrooms we saw. Um, but we stumbled onto something uh, even bigger than that. Oh? So. That doesn't sound like nothing to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> shut up. Um... <laughs> So I decided to disregard the poisonous mushrooms in uh, return for information on a delivery happening in about a week. Uh, in a week. About. Okay. Now remember, Ralph, Al, you Pardon have me? 24 hours to get some sort of result back to the um, to your commissioner regarding the money that you lost. That's true. Not really thinking about that right now. Okay. Still on a ukulele, hi. Yeah. Okay. Place. But seriously, you're disregarding the uh, poison mushroom? Hey, oh. C Caesar, dude. Um, sometimes, you know, if you get, you know, a link, something bigger. Oh, by the way, Rauka have two plot points. Oh, nice. Two. You're basically screwing your entire investigation. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, like, basically interrupting uh, Valina there, um, it's sometimes important to disregard little tiny details in order to get to something bigger and more important. We do a lot more good that way. Okay, what is this more important thing that's going on? Seriously, Valina, you're doing all these sketchy things behind closed doors. I want to know what's happening here. Uh... I run, <laughs> I run a secret underground pool floaty trading ring. <laughs> what, seriously? Yeah. Are you actually saying that? Yeah. Okay, okay my jaw just... roll alertness perception sense motive if you have it. No, not alertness, charisma sense motive. Okay. Oh, my own? Me? No, and then you roll Charisma, Influence, Deceit. Well, I got nine. I got a ten. Yep. I rolled an eleven. Ooh. All right. I rolled a thirteen. Wow. All right. Ew. Um, Belina, you have the choice. You could outbid them. I, I'm not going to. All right. You two that rolled above a ten can tell that she's lying. Okay, so I'm like... A pool hall? What? That does not explain any of this. What are you saying? Okay, so even though he thinks that I am lying, that means that doesn't mean that I am lying, right? No. <laughs> okay. 
I'll have you know, it's pool floaties. Like, I'm talking rubber ducks. I'm talking rubber duck rafts. I'm talking about inflatable... Pool and pool accessories. Yes. Okay, don't give me this BS right now. What did you do to get information from Russo? What was going on with that shy gal? What are you talking about with Carlo in there? This is not making sense. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Everything he just said. Okay. At this point, Belina comes entirely clean. I'll level with you. I am not simply a cop for the Mushroom Kingdom. I am out for blood. Oh? I have I... a bone to pick with Rezcal. Oh. My jaw just drops. That's what you say? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, the drama. Uh. <laughs> Those of you who rolled above a 10, you're very skeptical of this. But I did, and so I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm just shocked. All right, I'm sleep so wide eyes. With Rezcal? And I'm like, that still doesn't explain... One, that doesn't make sense. Two, that doesn't explain anything I'm asking about. <laughs> I'll just, like, put my flipper up to his lips. Shh, just let it happen. What he said. I'm, I'm the I'm I, Caesar's back. <laughs> I, I shove her away, like, what? What is happening? Seriously, cut the BS. What's happening? The only BS I'm going to cut is... My own. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, all the terrible trying to comebacks are not Bulina, I promise. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, shucks. That's, I'm in between. Doesn't... I'm in between a thwomp and a hard place right now. <laughs> oh, Bulina, have um. Have a plot point. For what? For this? <laughs> if you have a complication that makes you a compulsive liar, that has definitely been hurting you, so... <laughs> have two plot points. Have two plot points. Okay. Um, shucks. See, like, this is hard to come up with on the spot. <laughs> yeah, how, I am, many, in a... how many plot points to make them believe me? <laughs> I'm inattentive, but I'm not an idiot. So now that I'm actually paying attention to this, it's going to be. Uh... Wait, wait, wait! How many plot points to spawn the kid now? <laughs> to spawn a child right now? One. <laughs> how many to spawn the ukulele valid, child? So. <laughs> oh, you want to spawn the ukulele child? Yes. That would be one plot point, yeah. I'll do it! <laughs> Diversion! Yeah, no, that's not really gonna work, though. Like, our attention's on yeah. you. Hey, 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 <laughs> Obelina, Obl it's okay. It, like, we've been training for so long, you guys have just come along to be family now. Okay, I will actually <laughs> come my... clean. I'm trying to track down... I'm trying to track down a shipment of weapons that is going from... ASMT land to the Mushroom Kingdom. I've heard word of the Mushroom Kingdom rebels uh, trying to get uh, weapons and trying to ally with the ASMT land. And that was actually where I was going to say we were headed next, but I kind of got interrogated. Okay, wait, wait, wait. ASMT? I thought we were doing well with them. I... I... No, no, never mind, never mind. That still doesn't explain how you dealt with Russo and the Shy Gal and Carlo. Now remember, you don't know many details about how she dealt with Russo. I know nothing. All I know is that she walked into a place where cops aren't supposed to be welcome and somehow got information, and that can be That's suspicious true. to me. We've got See, I walked, in, I walked in freely because you had distracted the people. But the how dudes. did you get him to talk? Well, he wanted something from me, and I gave it to him. I had sex with him. <laughs> uh, One moment. That just ain't your 
Chris Kaus picking his nose at this exact <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I'll get to roll some kind of check for that statement. One second. One second. No, okay. you don't, but I'm rolling things. Oh. Don't worry about it. This is so fun. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. that conversation happens. <laughs> which which okay. one? It just oh. happens. The one about the thing. So she said that she had sex with Russo, and I just yeah. believe her, I guess. You have no reason not to. Okay. Unless you I, can I guess... think of a relevant reason not to, but... No, I can't. So I just kind of shake my head like, Okay, wow, I did not expect that from you, but, uh, what's going on with the ASNT You do season? what you gotta do. Oh. I am really concerned about that. Well, uh, the ASMT, the land of, um, there's been a secret plot going on. Um, they are trying to assist the rebels of the Mushroom Kingdom. What rebels? Uh, see, there's an That's uprising. That's a very legitimate question. Everybody roll intelligence knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge, black market, Park. knowledge, covert, knowledge, anything Politics. sort of dubious. Yes, that would do it. Four. <laughs> so as far as you're concerned, Malcow, you've heard all the reports. There's no rebellions here. Everyone is freaking happy. I got mm -hmm. a 20. I got, got a 20. 20? I got a 20. <laughs> okay, well, that's a heroic success. So you know that there are several... Splinter Cell groups, you've never heard of one from the ASMT Kingdom. However, you have heard of ones from the Koopa Kingdom extensively trying to ferment rebellion and return to things how they used to be when the Koopa Kingdom ruled Mushroom Kingdom not too long ago. And the Mushroom Kingdom char largely suppresses information about this, but they do exist, and occasionally they'll blow up a building or something. So what do I know with my 10? Nothing? One point would get you similar information. Uh, no, I won't spend it. I feel okay. like my guy doesn't know that anyway. So yeah, I asked her, what's this about a rebellion? Yeah, like the, the, the crier guy just said everything was fine. Yeah. Honestly, it's very common for the government to pay off criers like that to keep uh, public distress uh, from distressing. Okay, I'm deciding to believe you for for now, but please tell me about this Actually, rebellion. Dino, tell me Dino, about. Dino, 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 Dino. Oh. Since you just heard the town crier, yeah. Do you remember what what the agreement with the town crier was, like the the Mushroom Kingdom and the ASMT Kingdom. Yeah, they were the Mushroom Kingdom gave ASMT Kingdom an island in exchange for better trade. Not just an island. This is like an entire zone. It'd be like giving away a state. Yeah, oh, Big uh, Island is World Four of Mario Three. Okay, so we gave them Big Island. Yeah. And all you got in return was increased trade. This is a very oh. unequal trade. Oh. So with that knowledge, at the very least, if you're not going to spend the plot point, you are aware that something is up. Right. In the okay. Mushroom Kingdom. Sense, yeah. Okay, well, Belina, I'm, I'm sure there's something fishy going on because, I mean, well, I, I have multiple reasons to believe that... Th Dishy things are going on, but what do you know? Tell me, please. Well, I don't know much, honestly. All I know is the information given to me that the Mushroom Kingdom rebels are planning an uprising and have somehow found assistance in the majority of ASMT. Huh. And are receiving... A large shipment of weapons. I, uh, as we as we've started talking about ASMT and stuff like this, my hostility has entirely drained away, and I'm just looking really contemplative and concerned. So, so, so risk out rebels, so. very slowly. Is like, so what you're saying is we need to go to ASMT land. That would be highly recommended. Why are we? What are we going there? Why us? What? We gotta stop the rebels. What do yeah. we even know about these rebels, though? Listen to your captain. <laughs> He's I not think... gonna be a captain anymore if we don't get this money back by tomorrow. 
I think no traveling to a foreign country is a little outside <laughs> of our my job description here, Captain. Oh, no, our job, listen, our job is to, you know, promote peace and safety to all the citizens here. That seems to be something that would go against that peace and that safety. We might not want to go out right now, but we should at least take a look and see what's going on, you know? Just take a look. But you're asking us to travel to another kingdom. I've never lived parts. anywhere but here and the castle city. Well, um, Caesar, you know, when you enlisted, you were told you might have to travel. And uh, you're pretty lucky. Most people, it doesn't happen in the first week like this. <laughs> what? I, I'm just not taking his suggestion that we as beat cops are going to there seriously at all. Um... Well, you can go talk to your supervisor if you, if you doubt him. Yeah, I mean, that's my intention at this point. So I asked again to uh, Belina if she had a date or something regarding this, like an approximation, anything? Um, I would assume, well... In one week's time, exactly one week. Well... One week, and ASMT land is pretty big. I suddenly look kind of suspiciously at Raukau as if a thought had occurred to me. Um, I'm just describing this because I am not somebody who can disguise my intentions at all. But uh, I turn to Belina again. So you, so you know nothing about these rebels? Um, cats, check your messages. I know, I got you, I got you. Okay, okay. Um... Well, I have the location of the drop. I don't know much about the rebels, though. All right. Well, I guess let's investigate this drop more. I mean, that's what we've been doing this whole time. I... Yeah. All right. So are you going right, to share yeah. with them the, the location so of the drop any more than just ASMT or keeping that to yourself? Um, I'm going to share the information. It is at a location called the House of Turner. Wait, the drop is oh. in ASMT land? From who okay. to who? The House of Turner is where the weapons are leaving from. So if we catch those weapons before they are shipped, we can prevent an entire revolution. Where in here are they going? Hmm. What, wait, what? They're... House of Turner is a place in ASMT, right? Yes. And the weapons are being shipped from there to... Do you know the location within our own country? I do not. So we have to go to ASMT land to figure this out. Correct. I'll call it two weeks so you the guys have a little bit more time. Okay. House of Turner, huh? Like, do we know <laughs> basic geography that we would learn in high school? Who the hell is Turner? House of Turner's well, a level in the Totally yeah. Bad Volcano. Oh gosh darn it. <laughs> 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 I need to watch ASMT. That is correct. <laughs> I went through and just took down all the major locations. Did you... <laughs> you big it's nerd. That it's that super gross... Uh, Haunted house that says LOL in the wall. And that's super huge. Wait, are there actually official names for the places? For the worlds? Nolly totally rad volcano. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Now you guys I... can roll uh, intelligence knowledge geography if you have it. Uh, um, intelligence what about knowledge? Whoa, politics? I got 12. My maximum possible. I got, got it. <laughs> You, you happen to remember this one fact. You wrote a report on the House of Turner in high school. Oh. I what? You wrote, oh, I wrote a, report a report on the House of Turner in high school. So what does that let him know? Basically, well, basic, I know the basic know. knowledge that a high schooler yeah. would have. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good old, good old uh, what's the Mushroom Kingdom version of Wikipedia? <laughs> yeah, so basically if you had rolled this about Tokyo, you would know that it has sushi. And you know right. which district it's in, and you'd know that its chief export is something, 
Well, I know it's in a volcano, and that kind of reminds me back home. And, you know, I'm just kind of like looking at the sky a bit, and over my hand and my chin. It's kind of like... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Your childhood on the spinny wheel above the lava bridge. I'm like, you know, well, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this idea of checking that place out. Okay, I guess... I guess we're going to another country. Uh, well, I mean, good luck getting there. You're still yeah. working a job. You have to at least clear it with your superiors. Yeah. You I, can't I, just be like, TTYL. I mean, I was saying that skeptically, like, still not believing that he's suggesting that we just up and go to another country. Oh, man, don't, don't worry, Caesar. See, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. And uh, when we get back, uh, we're going we're gonna to be downright heroes. Caesar, don't you trust our beloved captain? Our names are going to be everywhere. Uh, all right, so what next? Head to the precinct to check in? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I, oh, whoa, uh, I guess you're right, huh? Uh, okay, you, you know what, you guys? You can handle that. Uh, I'm gonna get, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and gather some stuff we're gonna need for the Troy the voyage here. Uh, I, I trust you guys, you know, she, it's part of the job, gotta, you know, make a report, explain what's going on. You guys, you can do it, I'm, I'm sure of it. Well, just so you're aware, as captain, you have to do the report. Well, they don't... There's hmm. paperwork you have to file. That's true. So basically, yeah. So while you go and explain that, you know, in the immediate trying to get uh, some, some stuff ready, I'm going to write down a report, get this ready, and uh, basically try and get uh, out of here and over there as quick as possible. All right. So you guys are going to head back to the precinct? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Share our right. information that we've gathered throughout the day. All right. So as you get back to the precinct, someone runs up to you, Rezcal, and he says, Rezcal, we got complaints. The boss wants to see you in his office. Complaints? What? Whoa. Uh... Tizurius, the chief of police. This is Whoa. this isn't your immediate this isn't the dispatcher that you normally deal with. This is his boss. He's a big boss. Yep. You say, and you know well enough at this point that he basically doesn't like to see people. Right. Oh. I'm like, oh, oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, guys, you take care. Try to organize what we need here. Um. Uh, I gotta see what's going on here. Um, I'll get right Rescal, back. Rescal, he wants to see all of you. Oh. Hmm. Well, all right <sighs> then. Uh, come Except on, guys. You. And he points to Bulina. Oh, <laughs> so not gonna go. okay. Well, uh, Belina, take care of our stuff. Uh, gonna see the chief, the, the dispatcher is gonna say his thing, and just you know, what a warning. Usually, when Caesar is a bit mad, but it's okay, he's like that with everyone. Don't take uh, it too you've never personally. Met him before, by the way, pardon me, you've never met this guy before. Oh, okay, you know, the well, guy uh, you talked to earlier, this is his boss. So basically, it's but I I know just him by um, reputation. reputation. Yeah, his reputation. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, so yeah so he has reputation you know for being pretty mad usually when he sees people but it's okay uh, you know we're just gonna you know, we're gonna hear what he has to say and we'll just be on our way I'm I wouldn't worry too much about this just get it done. All right. All right. So you're called into his office, everybody but Bolina. What does Bolina do? Whatever you want Bolina to do. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> to keep this conversation private, Tats, I'm going to hang up on you. Oh. Oh, man. But Here, you, if you want to do anything, you can communicate via text. <laughs> All right. So. This is where we lose our jobs, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so he calls you into his office and you walk in and there's a resnor there. Oh man. There. Oh man. He's looming, he's big, he's flaming at the mouth. And he's not <laughs> a happy camper. So he says, Come in, sit down. I stride in, sit down, look straight ahead. 
same thing. No, I'm being myself, so I'm still, you know, sort of in the, hey, uh, you know, just but very low voice, I'm just kind of muddle up in my chair and. Uh, So nice he place says, here. explain yourselves. It is a nice place. I earned it. <laughs> explain yourselves. Well, uh, explain ourselves uh, about what, uh, boss? Don't play dumb with me. What oh, happened yeah. at the Rusty Mushroom? I've gotten complaints. Breaking and entering? Assault? No, no, see, that's not quite exact. What happened is that, uh, you know, we were trying to get some information about uh, a drop that's going to happen. And uh, it's just that... I'm I, aware I, of your case. Oh, that's great. So, so you'll know, see, what happened is that um, Caesar <laughs> here, by pure, sure accident, you know, he, he, uh, he stepped on a gun. Whoops. And uh, you see, then it just kind of like, made some noise. There was a lot of confusion. Like, there was yeah. a lot of confusion going on there. But don't worry. We, we cleared this up, you know. Uh, uh, deep down, the, no bouncer one said, serious... the bouncer said you snuck in to the building without a warrant. You I are didn't... aware that the process exists for a reason. I didn't now, maybe I... someone like you, Captain Rezcal might not know this with your background, but things have a way here. Things have a proper order. Civilization is what it's called. Learn it. Yeah, I know, I just, I, I just kind of like nod and said, yes, sir, I'll, I'll certainly learn all I can about civilization, sir. <laughs> Good. Now, our department is currently under a lawsuit by the owner of the establishment, a man named Zokold. They're left levying some pretty serious charges. Now, I know this place. There's a lot of bad stuff that goes down in this place. If it were up to me, I'd rush in there and arrest every single person. Throw them in jail without trial. It's not up to me, though. I get why you did what you did, but you can't do it that way. Uh, I understand, sir. Sorry. No, it's, uh, I'll admit, I was a bit excited about, you no know, the promotion and everything. Uh, but it's the only time it, it, it's going to happen, happen ever. Well, I... your promotion came from sources higher than mine. Unfortunately, it wasn't my choice. I but raised my hand. Put your hand down. I'm not done speaking. I nod. And keep your hand up. <laughs> I, I, I put my hand down and I nod. <laughs> Effective immediately, all of you, except for, unfortunately, Bulina, are effectively on probation for a period of one month. Probation, sir. O okay, okay. During this time, you will not be allowed to carry through any police activity. At the end of this month, if you want to have your badge reinstated, I want a full reimbursement of the amount of money that you stole from the department, I, the amount of 250 coins that was shortchanged, at the end of a month, you can, you can have your jobs back. So Even 30 days, sir. Captain. Correct. All right. Uh, I Except understand, your sir. friend, Bulina, tell her that she's sadly still a cop. Um, I'm, sad, I'm sad to hear this, but I understand. No, nope. there's, there's rules. There's the way things need to be done. Um, mistakes were made. They happened. I got excited. I understand. I understand perfectly, sir. I raise my okay. hand while trying to look as professional as possible. He slams the table really hard and he says, what the hell do you want? Uh, sir, I don't know anything about this warrant thing. I just walked into the bar. I, he, he, the bouncer didn't even say anything to me as I slipped in. The bouncer just, claims that he asked you to present a warrant. You did not do so. He didn't say anything to me. I was just walking straight in. I was barely outside well, for a second. We're going to have to fight this out in court. Regardless, it's a public opinion thing. We can't just have you cops walking around the street right now as cops. Not All when right, you have sir. these charges levied against you. If you're found innocent, fine. If not, fine. I really don't care. All right, sir. Now get out of my office. 
I walk quickly out. And I'm just kind of bumblingly uh, get out and like, well, sir, it's a pretty nice day, no? And I'll see you in a month. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wave. please do. 